The increased number of disasters requires effective and rapid response. For the past 20 years, UNOSAT's Emergency Mapping Service has been providing geospatial analysis for such events. Here are some examples for 2022. On Saturday, January 15, 2022, the ongoing volcanic eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai volcano in Tonga triggered a large explosion followed by a tsunami in the Pacific. Yenocha Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific needed support to conduct damage assessment and other satellite-derived analysis on multiple islands in support of the emergency response operations. A couple of months later, in April 2022, South Africa, and in particular the city of Durban, were affected by floods and landslides following strong storms. The local government and the South African National Space Agency SANSA, requested support from the Emergency Mapping Service to better understand the extent of the landslides, assess the population potentially affected and identify damage to structures, roads, bridges and other infrastructures. Fast forward to August 2022, Pakistan was hit by its worst floods in decades. According to the government and its National Disaster Management Authority, 72 districts across Pakistan have been declared calamity hit, with Balakistan and Sindh provinces reported as the most affected provinces. UNOSAT's emergency mapping service was activated by UNOCHA to support the emergency response with situation and impact analysis, as well as rapid damage assessment. Over three months, the team delivered 22 products including preliminary flood assessments and satellite-derived flood evolutions comparing with the extensive flooding the country suffered in 2010. In total, UNOSAT estimated that 33 million people were affected. During the same period, the Emergency Mapping Service was activated over Thailand following heavy rain. UNOSAT provided flood damage assessment over the affected parts of the country and a monitoring dashboard that includes AI-based analysis. Using AI and machine learning techniques in the analysis helped quickly and accurately examine large amounts of imagery and provided detailed information to identify areas of need. The results were accessible through the UNOSAT Flood AI dashboard, a powerful web-based platform that allows interactive visualization of the information, such as flood extent, baseline data and potentially exposed population. In 2022, the Emergency Mapping Service was activated 72 times, provided 449 products, and found people were potentially exposed to natural hazards. 2023 marks 20 years of continuous operational support. UNOSAT will continue using geospatial technology in support of peace, security, and resilience.